Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're going to look in on the African night crawlers and see what they're doing in their new homes. Well, it looks like they're growing sprouts. Take a I did put some bedding in here and did not add any more food since the last time. Just checking on them, see what they're doing. I tried to disturb them as little as possible because moving into this new bin um, has been stressful. And even though this is a lockable lid, they have still, a few of them have been escaping here and there and um, resulting in worm jerky, as I call it. Um, which is sad, but it's to be expected when they are disturbed enough to be put in a new container. So I'm just going to fluff these guys up, kill the roots on these sprouts, and then I'm going to give them an ear of corn like I did with the European night crawlers and the red wigglers. And then we can kind of see what the difference is between the red wigglers, the European night crawlers, and the African night crawlers in regards to their ability to break down an entire ob of corn. All right. So now that these guys have been mixed up, nothing's anaerobic. Other than the sprouts, I don't see a lot left over from the last feeding. So I'm just going to bury up this corn. And then we will move on to the next bin. All right, we're on bin number two now. I'm take a look. You can see they are up, up in the lids, like you would expect. Rosebud, are you inspecting? Buddy, does it meet your approval? Deer in the headlights, pug in headlights. All right, back to the worms. Okay, so still with the sprouts. It is a little dry in here because I did put in dry bedding, not my usual prepared moist bedding. I was hoping to put a layer of dry bedding on top of here to keep them from moving out of their out of their bin. But you can see they are still actively trying to get out of here. Let's just say that I'm remembering why I put them in an urban worm bag to begin with. They really are a pain in the butt in a regular tote system. That's quite a bit of worms. I don't see that they're actually collecting around any. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know what that was. But they all seem to be around it. Potato or a melon or something? I don't know. So they are progressing on that bedding I gave them. And that is kind of their charm, if worms have charm, is that they do really well with carbon sources. So got the sprouts all kicked up here, and we're going to give them their cob of corn. There we go. So it's July the 24th. 2020. All right, on to the third bin. Okay, bin number three. This is an example of worm jerky. Somehow one of them got out and dried out. I guess in the event of a zombie apocalypse, I could make a fortune from worm jerky. All right, so flipping over this, seeing what they're doing. Oh, looks like they're making another avocado tree for me. I 
but it is a little bit dry and like I said earlier that is on purpose I am trying to get them to settle down in here and not crawl but it's been about a month and they are still not settling so my thoughts that I might invest in one of the mini mammoths uh, is probably going to happen. It's looking more likely as time goes on with these guys in the tote system. I don't know, I might try and leave the lid off this week and see what I get. See if that doesn't help them out, keeping them from escaping. But let's dig them a nice little pit here and give them their corn. Alright. Here we go. Alright guys. Well, that's that's it for the African Nightcrawlers in their new shallow tub systems. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.